It's that time, time to take a look at the 2025 monsoon outlook. But before we get to the outlook, let's take a look at some of the guiding factors. So we know it's been extremely dry since last August. This year, we have no El Nino or La Nina. It's neutral. So how is that going to affect the tropical weather activity, which in turn will impact our monsoon? And then, of course, we look at the long range outlook. So let's get into it. Of course, the drought monitor shows we've got extreme drought across most of southern Arizona, which turns into dry soil. Now, when you get the dry soil, sometimes that kickstarts our monsoon because it allows that high pressure system to develop quicker that then will move off to the east of us, pull that moisture across southern Arizona and give us those thunderstorms we're looking for. Now let's take a look at the hurricane forecast for the eastern Pacific. Most models are saying it looks like about an average season for the eastern Pacific. Now let's move over to the Atlantic it looks like the Atlantic could be a little bit busier than average. Most forecasters are saying, eh, probably a little above average. So now let's take a look at the Climate Prediction Center outlook for precipitation. And it does look like a slightly above average chance of rain as we go through the next three months. And then, of course, as you might expect, we're going to be forecast to be a little bit hotter than average over the next three months. So here it is, the 2025 monsoon outlook, and we think we are going to see slightly above average rainfall with above average temperatures.